okay guys so good morning all this is my 12th batch so you are in second session of 12th batch and this is not the demo session please okay this is entire two hour session okay today we are discussing about informatica power center okay so before starting okay so why i sent the zoom link separate zoom link is today few people joined today few people joined yesterday night few people joined yesterday few people will join today tomorrow also okay so i i sent a separate zoom link in the uh, for, to the group okay but from next year session onwards you will not get the zoom link okay so who ever paid okay for them in the website access will come almost all people i the system is approved few people are still there that will be approved by today okay so <clears throat> you know the process right if you don't know the process how to log in so watch my first video so there i have explained okay so i will explain again okay so just concentrate on that okay so you have given your email id to me okay you have given your your respective email id give me one second give me one second so you have you have given your email address to me that email id is very important first what you need to do is open your google chrome first log into gmail.com log into gmail.com once you log into gmail.com with this gmail id then open rajinformatica.com okay so then open rajinformatica.com once you open the rajinformatica.com you can directly sign in okay sign in log in or sign up anything is fine just log in and use your gmail id log in and use your gmail id like this okay so like that is what you need to do did you understand please what you need to do first open chrome then log into gmail id okay so once you log into gmail id then log in with open rajinformatica.com and then log into that gmail id once you log into the gmail id okay it will be appear like this okay as I, as i told you we can go to home section about me contact courses okay installation process and course features course content everything you can see here course content everything you can see here okay and this is your section student section is your section dashboard okay you can change your profile picture okay enrolled courses okay once you log in once you go to enrolled courses if you enrolled for 12th batch morning it will show 12th batch morning if you are enrolled for 12th batch evening it will show as 12th batch evening okay like that it will show okay so this is your student section okay so once you log into rajinformatica.com then what is the next step i given the steps yesterday itself in the group so these are the steps i show you again what are the steps so these are the steps i given what are the steps first log into gmail id which you have given to me then open rajinformatica.com and click click on login and use your gmail id then download zoom software download zoom software in your system then create an account with the same gmail id given to me in the zoom also you have to create a you have to create an account with the gmail id you have given to me then log into zoom with that gmail id okay once you log into that gmail id okay zoom then you will get a you will get a message email like this you will get an email like this okay everybody you already got almost all people got the email address so few people joined yesterday night and today morning this is the process okay you will get an email like this one second let me see here yeah you will get an email like this you update your enrollment id generated so this is system generated so for this email id this is the enrollment id then click on registration link once you click on registration link it will ask your first name last name email address what you have given to me phone number what you have given to me this is the enrollment id 11971 each each candidate is having unique email unique enrollment id put it here and then register once you register it will come. the system will approve once you approve you will get the access like this you will get the access like this okay so professional informatica training 12th batch morning you will get it okay you can open this once you click on this okay 
you can see here course instructions right side informatic installation process introduction to informatica lesson 1 okay lesson 1 video and zip file both will be there in the website video and zip file lesson 2 video and zip file okay lesson 3 like this each session completed once you complete first session okay the the first session video will be available second session second session video video on the zip zip file will be available you can click here to download once you click here to download it will download okay so like that you will get every day here did you understand please understand what you need to do yeah yeah Rajiv, but i i have already yes, yeah if you already registered it will yeah, zoom that's why i'm not getting any enrollment id that's fine you will get it today don't worry okay okay, okay. thank everybody, you everybody everybody will get it whoever not got the enrollment id they will get it today and also whoever not approved they will approve today okay, okay. for sure for sure next, next session, session will be on yeah. there is some background noise please go on mute so don't unmute simply please okay yeah so once you log in then from wednesday onwards next session is on wednesday so i told you first two weeks will be alternative sessions so next session will be on Wednesday. What you need to do? So to log into to log into our our class, okay, come to student section, join live session, okay, come to student home, join live session. Once you click on join live session, morning twelfth batch morning you open. Once you open, user ID. This is uh, this is not enabled for me. I'll ask him to enable. Your meeting ID and passcode will be there. That meeting ID passcode you should enter in the Zoom software. That's it. Okay, so that you will log in. This is about the session. Okay. Any doubts here, please? So, Raj, uh, uh, every day, whatever, you know, uh, session uh, completed, so you will be sharing. Uh, uh, Correct. After session, half an hour. Right? Suppose our yeah. session is ending at 11.30. By 12, 12.30, you will be getting the first eight. See, first eight videos, you will get it with eight zip files. From eighth session, you will not get the videos. Eight to 30, you will get the zip files. So okay. it would be it would be in in our access only, right? In, in the uh, yeah. informatic, yeah. I mean, Raj yes. Informatica in site. Yeah, in the website. Yes. Not separate you know, email. You no need to ask anything for me. Everything yeah. will be here. You go to your enrolled courses. Right, right. Students enrolled courses. Open your twelfth batch, morning batch. Here, scroll down. Here it will be. Inter day one, day two, day three, day four, day five, day six, day seven, day eight. Till day eight, you will get the video and also zip file. From 9th onwards, okay, 9th also I given. Last batch, 9th also. Maybe I can give 9th also, okay? So 10, 11, 12 to 30, 30 or 35, whatever, okay, you will be getting the zip files like this. Are you seeing the zip files? Yeah, click here to download, okay? Zip files means just a folder. You can copy paste this. This you can download directly. Or you can copy paste this and you can use it in your copy paste system. Okay, like this you will get it. All the notes you will get it. Interview questions, you will get it. Then mapping document, you will get it. PPT, you will get it. Okay, everything I will I'll give it to you. I will always exceed your expectation. Don't worry. Okay. So there is nobody in my training till now that I did not satisfy with your training. Nobody has told. I did not get a, I can proudly say that I did not get a single negative review from my past 14 under students. Okay. So yes. please try to give a negative review. I always ask them to give the negative review. But at least this, this batch, please give me the negative review. I need at least one negative review. Okay, who can say that your training is bad? Okay, I want to hear that. Okay, try to give, please. This is about me, then leave it. Okay, then directly we'll go to session. Okay, today. So understood about it? Yes, please. Understood about how to log in daily? Yes, yes Raj. Any doubts, please? No doubts? No, 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 no doubts. Okay, fine. So in this training, you are learning about Informatica Power Center. Informatica Power Center. Okay, you are learning Informatica Power Center. Okay, so Informatica Power Center. Power Center is a single word. Okay, Informatica Power Center 10.2.0. The latest version is the latest version is 10.5.0, but you are learning 10.2.0. There is nothing much difference. Okay, so in this training, you are learning Informatica Power Center 10.2.0. Informatica is an ETL tool. Informatica is an ETL yes. tool. Okay. What is ETL tool? We'll see later. Just ETL means to the full form of ETL is extract, transform, load. Extract, transform, load. Okay. The full form of ETL is extract, transform, and load. 
okay okay so extract read or get the data from table or a file that is called a source okay so we will get the data from source we will modify the data in between and we'll load the data to table or file so we'll see in detail what is etl leave about it now okay so as you are learning informatica here informatica is a business in, it is a tool so informatica is a tool it is not a software language like c c++ java it is not a software language okay it is not a it is not a some other whatever the languages you know okay it is not a web service okay like azure aws it's not a web service also okay it's not a language also okay it's not it's not file system also like cobol mainframes that is also not not this one it is a separate called tool it's an etl tool okay informatica is a tool it's a tool based training we are learning why informatica is very easy because there very less coding very nominal coding will be involved and it is very easy to understand and it is very easy to implement in real time that's why informatica is become that much famous okay so informatica is an etl tool etl will come under business intelligence okay so whatever we are doing is called business intelligence this is called a bi bi tool informatica is a bi tool business intelligence tool okay now in the business intelligence what and all you will get it data warehouse data mining data visualization okay data mining and data visualization is called reports what is data warehouse we'll see okay so informatica is a business intelligence tool so in real time they will be speaking uh, you are into bi project bi project means you yes. may be working on data warehouse you may be working on data mining you may be working data on data visualization okay so that is about bi in bi as i told you data warehouse data warehouse also a concept see e business intelligence etl data warehouse these are all the concepts okay those are not exist in physical actually but we'll call them so in data warehouse there are two types of tools there are two types of tools one is etl tool another one is reporting tool okay etl tool reporting tool what are etl tools informatica power center informatica cloud called iscs talent data stage snowflake okay what else you know what else you know etl tools abinishio anything else you know yes abinishio ssis ssis okay. ssis so see uh, what is this ssis means uh sql server integration sir sql server means it's the microsoft tool ssis what about okay pentaho okay then uh, nowadays uh, one more has come uh, what is that uh, what is that i did not remember about it odi okay, there are so many etl tools sir okay. what about there are... data big data is not a etl tool no it's not an etl tool okay big data is different that will come under different different uh, stream okay so in data warehouse we are etl tool we have etl tool we have reporting tools okay so what are the etl tools we have in market informatica iscs talent data stage snowflake abinishio okay ssis pentaho okay so these are all the what etl tools available reporting tools what power bi tableau ssrs cognos bo micro strategy okay micro strategy these are all called reporting tools okay so etl tools reporting tools normally if people will ask me will you teach informatica or etl tool that is a wrong question etl is a concept you know android right do you know android everybody yes sir android is an operating system correct mobile operating system yes yes so yes. think that mobile android is a concept so by using samsung mobile we will use android yes or no we will do we will work with android yes or no what yes, is android yes. actually Sound android right. means android means what in mobiles okay the the whatever the screen you are visible whatever the applications you will see whatever the settings you will see all are same right yes, yes or no yes. yes so in so little little differences are there but ultimately everywhere apps will be there everywhere settings only in the settings everywhere wifi network bluetooth display customization everywhere same so so by using oneplus mobile we can work with android by using samsung mobile we can work with android by using mi mobile 
we can work with Android. Same way, by using Informatica, we can implement ETL. By using Talent, we can implement ETL. By using Data Stage, we can implement ETL. Did you understand? Yes. So ETL is a concept. So by using any of these things, you can use ETL. any phone. ETL to use Android. Android phones are different. Different Android phones are there based on the price, based on the features, based on the capacity. Prices will be defined. Yes or no, please? Yes. Correct. So one plus maybe one plus maybe thirty thousand. MI maybe fifteen thousand. Why? Because the features which is having the hardware which is having in one plus maybe that much hardware is not available in MI. Or maybe both are same. MI is having more competition. That means they are having more money. That's why they will give the less price because they wanted to sold more 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 devices. Okay. So that is a marketing strategy. Same way. Here also, see, here also same marketing strategy. Okay, so Informatica is having more features than talent. Maybe I don't know. Suppose if anybody ask you, if anybody ask me, so is Informatica is good or talent good? Talent is good. Suppose if anybody ask you, is OnePlus is good? Yamaha is good. What you will tell? OnePlus. OnePlus. How? OnePlus. On what basis you are saying? Features. No. Yes, so, yes, but it was permit. It depends. It depends on the features. If you used yes. OnePlus and if you used Yamaha. Then you can tell, right? If you use both of the phones, you use one plus for one month. Then you use one for MI for one month. So whatever you are saying, whatever you are saying now without using means whatever the people said to you, one plus is better than MI. People might have said 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 to you. That's why you are thinking that one plus is better than MI. But actual real experience where it will come if you use one plus one month, MI one plus. Mi one month, then you can say yes. Mi is not having these many features. Mi is not having these many features. That's why. Okay, so I can say one plus is better. Yeah, based on the quality production, correct. Yes. Okay, but how can you check the quality when you use both? Then only you can check the quality. You can you cannot check the quality in one day, right? Yes or no? So if you if you drop one one plus two times, if you drop Mi two times, which one is better now? You can able to decide. Yes or no? Yes, Same sir. way. Yes, if yes. anybody, yes. one second, please. So please don't interrupt me in between. I will surely give you the. I will give you surely give the time to write ask the question. You can ask any number of questions. There is no limitation for questions. You don't worry. So please don't interrupt me in between. Okay. So let me go in a flow. So I'll surely stop in some time, and I will and I will ask you. Do you have any questions? You can ask any number of questions. Don't worry. So if anybody asks me. Is Informatica is good or talent is good? I will tell you. I will let me use first, then then I will decide. Let me use first. Okay. Yes. All go on mute, please. Don't unmute simply. If you are listening, don't unmute. If you wanted to speak, when I ask you, do you have any questions? Then unmute and speak. Because I have given everybody. I have given the option to unmute. I did not. I did not muted. It. I did not. I did not muted. Okay. So don't unmute, please. Okay, so be on mute and listen. Once I ask you, do you have any questions? Then you can ask. Okay, so please mute and listen. Okay. So now, as I said, you. So if anybody asks me, is Informatica is good or talent is good? I from past eleven years I am working on Informatica, so I am comfortable with Informatica. Okay, if I know about talent, then I can say. So you no need to bother about other ETL tools how they are working out. Okay, why I am saying this is whatever you are working on the ETL tool. That you need to concentrate more. That you need to be get the perfection. You no need to think about all these things how they will work. Okay, what they are working. You no need to think about it. That is called ETL. Okay, so Informatica is a is an ETL tool. Informatica is an ETL tool. Okay, so these are all the reporting tool. Now, see what is this actually? What is ETL? Why ETL has come came into picture? Okay, so nowadays, nowadays everywhere you are going. You are seeing the data. Are you seeing the data? Yes or no, please. Everywhere, are you seeing the data? Yes. 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 What kind of data you will see in real time? Can you tell me? Banking. Banking data. Next. Hospitalization. Insurance. Hospital. Hospital data. Hospital. Yes. Grocery data. School and colleges. Grocery data. Okay, grocery data. Educational data. Government data. Government offices data. Government data. Yes. Everything, everything in the middle. If you wake up, if you wake up, if you wake up okay, from there, from there you will be seeing the data. Yes or no? From there, 
so everywhere data is there to handle the data to handle the data not only handle the data to make the business decisions on the data okay suppose you have a business you have a educational business suppose you have a college okay or you have a school you need to improve your business of your school how to improve the business of your school you need to get the data about the school so that means so how many people are what is the data about the school in its simple terms okay how many people are joined in the school okay what are the fees for them and how much i am paying for the teachers how much i am paying for the rent how much i am paying for the maintenance ultimately this month how much i got profit or this year how much i got profit next year how much i got profit okay suppose i have i have a i i have a, a, a retail business okay you know big bazaar everybody you know big bazaar yes please yes yeah yeah big yes. is what it's a retail business yes. what you will buy there you will buy the groceries when you go to the when you go to big bazaar what you will do you will pay the you will pay for for them and you will get the groceries suppose come to the big bazaar okay big bazaar is having suppose in bangalore in bangalore there is one branch called indranagar branch in bangalore there is one branch called indranagar branch okay big bazaar indranagar first branch what they wanted if they want to improve the business who want to improve the business who want to improve business, big bazaar business want to expand big bazaar owner big, big bazaar ceo okay big bazaar whoever whoever started the big bazaar whoever invested on the big bazaar the investors okay the investors they want the growth or of the business at least they want to see whether my business is growing or not how they can see suppose in indranagar branch is there okay ultimately end of the day my business i will see whether i will get whether i got profit or loss yes or no yes sir yes. at the end of the day any business you take any business business means business okay so business ultimately what i will see at the end of the day what profit. is profit what is loss suppose in indranagar today i want to see what is the profit what is the loss for that first you need to see the sales yes yes to see the profit and loss first you want to sales of today today is what 11th of july 11th of july 2021 2022 what are the sales sales means what suppose 100 people walk into the big bazaar 100 people entered into big bazaar they purchased the goods while they purchase the goods the guy the cashier will enter suppose you 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 put all the goods in the trolley you go to cashier and cashier will scan the barcode okay and he will enter all these things and he will click on print when he click on print the bill will come that is called sales correct yes or no Yes. The total, yes. whatever the hundred people entered into Big Bazaar from morning nine ten thirty a.m. to evening nine o'clock, they entered hundred people. Okay, so total people has sales is suppose today five lakh. Today the total Big Bazaar sales is five lakh. Sales is five lakh. Then expenses also I need to see. Sales is five lakh. Expenses I need to see. Yes or no, please. Yes, sir. Yes. So what are the expenses of Big Bazaar? Rent of the building, maintenance of the building, maintenance means what? maintenance means what whatever the uh, whatever the power bill whatever the water bill whatever the power bill everything, everything okay maintenance maintenance of the building then salary of the employees groceries then, then groceries the, the the cost of the groceries yes or no yes sir yes. the cost the the cost of the groceries everything that they will calculate so what is the current bill expenses uh, okay so uh, the total uh, expenses uh, of today is suppose 3 lakh total expenses is 3 lakhs so sales is 5 lakh expenses are 3 lakh then profit equal to sales minus expenses yes or no yes yes please yes sir yes sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir. equal to sales minus expenses yes, so sales is 5 lakh then expenses are 3 lakh so 2 lakh yes or no please yes yes suppose if it is reverse this become 3 lakh This become five lakh. Sales becomes sales becomes three lakh. So whenever you give sales minus expenses, you give minus. When you when the profit is when the sales minus expenses is negative number, that is called loss. When the sales minus expenses is positive number, that is called profit. So based on the data, this is called data. What are that the sales data, expenses data? This is called data. 
without this data can you can you generate a sales report no 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 so data is very important data will be growing while while human beings are growing okay the data will be always growing please there, there is no limit for data yes or no will you agree? yes yes so, we agree today today 100 people entered if i do the advertisement well tomorrow 200 people will enter okay so like that the whole world is rely on data please data please that's why that is why etl tools are so popular okay so there for etl tools there is no ending please okay so so what i am saying so ultimately so i got it indranagar branch today i got how much 2 lakh profit for indranagar branch 2 lakh profit like this indranagar i have many branches in in bangalore big bazar branches yeah yeah suppose there are 10 branches are there there are one is indranagar jp nagar jay nagar okay whatever the 10 branches so every branch we will get what we will get every branch branch wise branch wise report will get it first yes. branch wise report yes. will get it yes, branch sir, wise yes. profit or loss report then city wise will get it the total city in bangalore total bangalore there are total 10 big bazaars if you combine all these things we will get how much suppose uh, today i got 50 lakh profit in bangalore city wise then zonal wise sorry city wise after the state wise state wise in in karnataka big bazaar is in bangalore big bazaar having 10 branches in bangalore five branches in mangalore okay and yeah. two branches in mysore like that state wise i wanted karnataka state this much profit i got then zonal wise south zone okay south zone means what we are under south zone right okay yeah. so andhra pradesh kerala karnataka and tamil nadu how much then country wide yes or no please yes these are the reports we wanted these are called what business reports these are called business, business reports. reports so our data warehousing we will deal with reports data warehousing in data warehouse we will generate these business reports are you clear please yes sir no by using etl and reporting tool both by using etl and reporting tool what ultimately you are doing a project means what is the use of see i am doing a software project everybody say that i am doing the, what is use of this what is the outcome of your software project nobody knows few people know nobody knows they are doing it nobody knows now as a data warehousing tool you are using as a business intelligence the name itself it is saying i want to business intelligence means the whatever the tools we are using they will work on business okay on that business okay what we will do is okay will generate the business now not only branch wise reports i want a daily report yes or no yes sir i want a weekly yes, report quarterly report yes yes then monthly, monthly report then quarterly, quarterly report year quarterly report yes. then yearly report yes or no yes sir so bangalore daily report bangalore weekly report ba like this so these are all the reports by using business intelligence project by using data warehousing project or by using informatica project we will generate these reports ultimately the usage now why you are learning informatica is very important please simply without knowing if you learn there is no use if you are learning mean this you know the purpose of learning okay why you want to learning means we want to generate the reports who will generate the reports reporting okay. people will generate the reports these people will be there no these people who you are working on power bi tableau okay so those people will generate the reports so business uh, ultimately we will work on the business whether it is a banking business whether it is a retail business whether it is a government business government data also it's also a business for government only correct in government also see rtc is there okay so aps rtc if you take it aps rtc they will think business only right yes it is a government but ultimately they will also see the profit and loss yes or no he will be seeing right, the profit yes. in the paper yes. so this this year uh, uh yes aps rtc become this much loss how they will decide if you don't know the report if you don't see the reports you cannot identify or you can improve the business suppose okay see i want to improve the business means what indranagar i will see 6 months data 6 months reports all the 6 months if i am getting loss suppose every month indranagar branch getting loss then what i will do after 6 months i'll bear 6 months i will see the business 6 months okay i will see the growth percentage it is coming downwards 
yes i will see when i see then what i will do after 6 months i will remove the branch in indranagar there is no point in wasting time in indranagar i will put it in jayanagar yes yes or no yes, you yes, need to yes. take the business decisions yes sir yes, you want to take the business to pay to take the business decisions to take the business decisions we will use business intelligence or data warehouse or etl or reporting tools okay these are interlinked to each other okay so etl will come data warehouse will come under bi etl and reporting will come under data warehouse to make the better business decisions we will use business intelligence are you clear please did yes. you understand the purpose yes, of sir. did you understand the purpose of learning informatica yes yes by using informatica we will not generate the reports by using informatica we will not generate but whatever the tables we generated by using informatica or etl tool that tables reporting tool people will use and they will generate the reports and the and the higher higher authority people higher higher people of of the business will take the making better business decisions that is the advantage of data warehousing yes please are you clear yes no now we'll come purely on data did you understand please any questions now any questions please did you understand data, any clear data, data, data visualization will we study that also sir not required no only etl only etl hello sir bi tools one second bi tools are data etl and reporting so informatica is a bi tool power bi is a reporting bi tool okay these are all bi tools these are all bi tools informatica this whatever i am showing here these are all bi tools okay yes please sir first of all we have to generate the take the data from yeah about data i'll say i'll, I'll, I'll say you, please wait so now we'll come under we'll come purely data what is the data as i told you whatever the real time whatever those data now so whatever the these are all the data right banking data wherever you go wherever you go to a small grocery shop they will all be, also will be maintaining the data maybe they are maintaining the data in their book okay so a small grocery shop whichever near next to your next to your home maybe that is also data because how much ever goods purchased this week okay what are the goods purchased everything okay everything they will okay they will be written writing so if you go to medical shop okay that is the that is the what uh, that is the healthcare data okay so they will be maintaining the system so everything is data now where this data will store first of all what are the forms of data what are the how many forms of the data will come data will come in the form of xml files data files data structured and structured tables structured data will be coming data will be having three types of data okay xml jsr three types of data okay structured data structured semi structured semi structured unstructured data unstructured data structured data semi structured data unstructured data leave over this we don't require now so data will be coming mainly two types one is table format another one is file format data will come under table format file format file we'll see this file also called data file or a flat file this file also called data file or a flat file so data will come in the form of how the data will store or data will store in the form of data will be stored in a form of a table or a file so file we'll see later now coming to the table data will store in a form of table what is a table collection of rows and columns 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 is called a table collection of rows and columns is called a table okay so how the table look likes like this i show you how the table look likes data <laughs> only very carefully in text please. format only raj sorry data can only in text format if uh, data is coming in audio video something like yeah, that yeah yeah we'll say that are files right those are files those are files okay two types image table video file. table file the data yeah. will come under when the form of table and file now we'll see files you'll see structured files are there semi structured files are there unstructured files are there we'll see those things later as of now we'll see about 
we'll see about structured files. Structure, that means tables. What is a table? I told you, table will come under form of a, so table will be in, so data will become under form, in the form of stored in the form of table. Table yes. is a collection of rows and columns. Yes. Rows and columns. This rows also called as records. This columns also called as fields. This columns fields. fields also called attributes. Okay. So this is called the horizontal lines are called rows. The horizontal lines you are seeing, right? Okay. The horizontal lines you are seeing. Yes or no, please? Yes. yes. So this yes. is called row. The vertical lines you are seeing. This is called column. Oh, so column. customer ID, customer name, location, city, state, country are the columns. Okay. Suppose if I have like this, then Raj, Bangalore. Okay. Uh, Indranagar. Okay. Indranagar. Bangalore. <clears throat> Bangalore, sorry, Indranagar, Bangalore, okay, Karnataka, Karnataka, yeah, India, India. So, so this custody is column or a field or attribute, customer name, location, city, state, country are the columns. This is the columns, okay. Now, this is a row, 10 rows, the entire this is called a row. So, now a table is a collection of rows and columns. What is the table? Table is a collection of Rows so and columns. columns. Are you clear, please? Yes, sir. Everybody? Yes, sir. So, yes, sir. table in real time, they will be calling yes, as records or fields. Okay, records or fields or attributes. So, rows or records, both are same. Columns, fields, attributes are same. Okay. So, now, as I told you, data will be stored in the form of, data will be stored in the form of, okay, tables. Sorry. Tables. Data will be called form of tables. So, table is a table is a table will be a collection of columns and uh, rows. rows, rows and columns. Okay. Now, okay. Now coming where this table will store, where this table will store, where this table will store? Database. 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 Table database. will store under database. database. Okay. Table will store under database. Okay. Now, as I told you, Okay, there are two types of, there are two types of data actually. Okay, one is, there are two types of data, OLTP and OLAP. What are those? OLTP and OLAP. OLAP. Coming to the tables. Okay, so are the databases. Okay, so tables, so data will come under, come in the form of tables. Okay, data will store in, in the form of tables. Tables will store under database. Database. Okay. Database. Okay, fine. Now, who will enter the data normally? Users. Users. Okay. Suppose we'll go to we'll go to Big Bazaar. Okay. And user. Who will enter the who will enter the data in Big Bazaar? Uh, cashier. 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 cashier will enter the data. If you go Cash. to if you go to bank, again cashier will enter the data. If you go to college, clerk will enter the data. Correct? Yes. Yes. yes or no? Suppose yes. if you go to bank, suppose you deposited 1000 rupees. What is this called? Deposit. What is this called? Deposit. Number. Record. Transaction. 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 I deposited 10, I deposited, I deposited 1000 rupees. Okay. This is called a credit transaction. Yes or no? Yes. Yes, please. Same yes. way in Big Bajar also for each, for each, for each, for each uh, customer, one transaction. Yes or no, please? Yes. yes. So, same way, if you go to the college, for each student, one transaction. Yes or no, please? Yes. Yes. So, so who will enter the data? So, when you go to, when you go to bank, if you give 1000 rupees to bank, what he will do? He will open a form like this. He will open a form like this. Yes or no? So, there will be a form. Okay. One second, please. He will open a banking form. There will be a front end form. Will be there, no? Yes or no, please? Yes. He will be having a front end form or he will write insert statement. Cashier no. will write insert, insert statement? No. No. What he will do? He will open, he will open ICSABank.com. Okay, whatever the business dot business dot ICSABank.com. Okay. So what he will do? He will open a form like this. Like this, he will open a form. And he will enter customer ID, customer name, all this in customer ID if you enter. All your details will fetch. Okay. Automatically come. Automatically click come. And he will enter thousand rupees credit. He will enter. And he will he'll, he'll check 
submit correct yes yes he will check submit okay that is called transaction that is called transaction, transaction. okay that is called a transaction now when i click on one second please behold behold yeah okay so when you click on when you click on print or save then where it will store it will go back end database correct please Yes or no? Yes. So in the in their system, the database will be suppose Oracle is there. Oracle system already they are installed Oracle server. It will go and sit in the database. That is called OLTP. The transaction processing. What is OLTP means? Online transaction processing. Transaction. Online transactions. Transaction. Wherever the transaction. transactions are stored, that is called OLTP system. That is called OLTP system. Yes or no? Online transaction yes. processing. Yes. Are you clear, please? What is OLTP? Yes, sir. It's OLTP online. Used by, OLTP used by cashiers or clerks, low level people. Yes or no? These yes. are not higher level people. These are low level people like cashiers. Okay. Cashiers or clerks. Sir. Yes or no, please? Yes. Or yes. yes. Will you agree? Okay. Now, OLTP means what? Okay. I'll tell you OLTP later. As of now, OLTP means what? Whatever the data, whatever the data they will store, whatever the data they will store. Okay, so that data will be they will enter that will that will store in the form of table and it will store in the form of a database. Yes, please. So who yes. whatever the cashier enters that will go that record will whatever the thousand rupees record will go and sit in a table, maybe a customer table. Yes or no, please. Yes. 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 Okay. Now, what are the database tech? What are the databases we have? Means same again. Banking database, insurance database, hospital database, cross database, institution database. See, if you don't go on mute, there are total one forty four people are there. In the morning session itself, there are one forty four people because of one person, one forty four people should suffer. Okay. So please go on mute. Don't unmute. Simply mute and listen. And again, I am saying, see, please, if you listen like this while speaking with phone, okay, today is okay. Today is like today is also important because see, whatever I am saying, every minute is important. Okay, I will not play the jokes in between. I will not entertain you. Nothing, but it will be very interesting. Okay, I am saying, I will make the session will be interesting. So. Please sit in a sit in a calm room, and put your silence, put your mobile in silent, okay, and listen the session carefully, please. No need to write anything because I will send these notes to you. Whatever I am showing you, I'll send this to you. No need to write anything, no need to take screenshots anything. I will send everything. Whatever you are screen seeing on the screen today, you will be getting. So no need to worry about it, okay. So listening and understanding will solve. Sixty percent of the problem. The pins because of listening and understanding, sixty percent you can select in the interview. Remaining forty percent with practice it will come. If you don't listen, you cannot practice. If you cannot listen and practice, you will not get the job. So please understand carefully. Maybe for few people it is very basics. They may get bored. But few people are the people who are non-IT people. They don't know what is the table. Also, we should help them. See, my training is simple. If any person don't know what is a table, he should be able to work individually without any job support. That is my goal. Okay, from day one onwards, from first batch onwards, I am doing the same. They are getting the jobs. They are doing individually without any job support. Okay, so I came to the industry to avoid job support, to avoid proxy. Okay, whoever the people join with me, they don't they don't get proxy. Still, they get the jobs. They don't get the job support. Still, they will survive. For just fifteen thousand, okay, they will get it. But outside, three lakhs for proxy, 
every month 30 to 40000 for job support but still they don't satisfy okay so if you want just for 15000 just for 40 45 days if you want to get a job the only one thing you need to do is listen carefully first if you listen carefully 60% you can you can just two hours no one day two hours if you don't speak or if you don't see the phone nothing will happen please okay so please just two hours keep quiet and listen with a with concentration please it's like a school or a college lecture i don't mind because you paid you 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 came here for with your with your own hard earning money and also time okay both are important okay so please understand carefully now coming to here so database okay now database is okay banking database okay whatever these are all databases only but how to use this database in system where the database exists database exists in the form of database technology database technologies or database servers we can say database technologies are database servers what are the databases you know what are the database you know Sorry. Microsoft Microsoft server. 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 nowadays every company every every mnc is having its own database if i speak with if i speak before 20 years okay there is only one database oracle or sql server or fox pro or ms access these are the databases we had that too in software they were using only oracle okay or fox pro they were using okay when i started my career in 2011 okay so most of the things we were using just two things that's it oracle sql server that's it there are no other and teradata also that time okay a new came newly come up at that time teradata okay so nowadays there are hell out of databases okay oracle sql server teradata mysql okay then read okay then postgres sql snowflake okay snowflake postgres sql cassandra postgres yeah cassandra mongodb okay cassandra Okay, MongoDB. It's not MangoDB. It's MongoDB. Okay, DB2. MongoDB, DB2. Yes. Yeah, DB2. There are n number of databases, n number of databases. But if you learn one database correctly, these are all easy. If you learn Oracle perfectly, you can work with SQL Server also. You can work with Teradata also. You can work with Greenplum and MySQL also because queries are same. Okay, I can say Oracle is the mother of databases. I can say. Okay. So, because whatever select star form, we will use select star form in Teradata also, SQL Server also, but little, little differences will be there. Little, little differences that can be negligible. If you Google it, you will get it. Okay. So, what I'm saying, you be proficient in one, no need to learn all databases. It's time waste, first of all. Not required. Just learn Oracle perfectly. Learn Oracle perfectly. Then, then you can learn any other database. There will be little, little changes. That's it. Okay. In SQL Server, we'll use schema name dot table name. In Oracle, no need to use schema name. If you can use, you can use. In Teradata, you can use show table to describe the table. In Oracle, DESC table. There are little, little differences will be there. That's it. Okay. So now again, I am saying we are learning in this training. Oracle, we are learning. Oracle SQL, we are learning. We are learning Informatica. We are learning Unix. So give the importance Oracle and Informatica, same importance, please. Normally, I'm seeing people will only practice Informatica. Okay. If you practice in two hours in Informatica, you have to give the same importance for Oracle. I am telling in the first day only, because if I tell after 30 days, there is no use. Time is, time is wasted already. Now, so please give the same importance to Oracle with Informatica. Okay. Whatever you are learning Informatica, because if you are very good at database, that is Oracle. It's easy to learn Informatica. If you don't know, I'm there. Don't worry. I'll tell all the Oracle concepts, SQL concepts. Okay. I started from what is the table. You can see that means whoever don't know anything about anything, he can join my training and he can get a job easily. When? Number one, he should listen. Number two, he okay. should understand. Understand. Number three, practice. If, if these three he has done, then he can easily get a job. People are getting the jobs, got the jobs. 800 plus people got the jobs. Okay. So you will also get the jobs. Don't worry. Okay. So these are the database servers. That means Oracle will be already installed in the in the Big Bazaar machine. Okay. Or, or, or anywhere in the server machine. And whatever they enters, it will go and sit in the table. That table 
will be stored in the database. Yes, that the table will be stored under database. Are you clear, please? Where the table is stored, are you clear? Yes, yes. 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 Where the table is stored, are you clear? Yeah, database. Yes, database. Okay. Now, how to work with database? How to work with database? In today's session, how many is not still installed Informatica? Me, Raj, too, because of the problem. Yeah. Me, Raj. Uh, yeah. Me, also. Okay. Fine. You text me. Yes. Anyway, my team will contact you. Okay. They will rectify. Okay. It will take some time. That's why I'm giving one, one day holiday between. between. Okay. Because if I say today, tomorrow, the sessions will be going and you will not be getting time to practice. Okay. Sir, Initially, the SQL that same? I will tell you. Please wait. I'll tell you. Please Can wait. I have done? Yes, tell me. Sir, is the database is a software or hardware? Software. Yes, software. Whatever I am speaking, all software simply. There is no hardware at all here. Okay. We are going for a software job. So we will discuss with only software. Yes? Informatica, Oracle, okay, reporting tool, every, everything is software, please. Okay? Yes, please. Okay. Understood? Okay. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, okay. what I'm saying is we'll go initially slowly. Once you come up to the speed, once you understand clearly, confidently, practicing confidently, then we'll go fast. Then if I go too fast, then it will be useful for you. If I go simply, I'm telling now, okay, daily, whether you are understanding or not, I don't want, okay, I wanted to finish my training. My goal is finish my training means there is no use. My goal is how many hours I am not telling is my, not my goal. How much you are understanding is the, is the important thing. Okay, if I, if I tell two hours, in the two hours, how much you understood? That is the main thing I wanted. So same thing I am following from my first batch onwards. Okay. So we will get the best training. Don't worry. Okay. 100% satisfaction guaranteed. I'm saying. Okay. You can say after this training, because of you, I don't get anything. If you ask me, I can reply you. Okay. So don't worry, please. Now, so Oracle. Oracle, if you are installed, no, Oracle is a database. First, you need to install Oracle. Everybody, almost all people install Oracle. Yes or no? Who you are installed already? Yes or no? Sir, yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We can call it as Oracle Server. We can call that as Oracle Server. You already installed Oracle Server. Now, to access this Oracle Server, we require a tool. Again, what is that? SQL Developer. Yes or no? First, you will install Oracle. So, see what I said, data will be stored in the form of table. Table is stored in database. Yeah. Database means Oracle. Now, how to see in Oracle, how can you go into Oracle and how can you query a table? How can you see the data? For that, we require SQL developer. We require SQL developer tool. Okay. As per my video, you already installed SQL developer tool. This is Oracle SQL developer tool. If you see here, this is SQL developer tool. Are you seeing this SQL developer? Yes. yes. So open yes, it. Once you open this, so it will connect. This is a tool. It will connect it to Oracle server, which already you installed. If you installed in your system, it will connect it to your system. If your Oracle server is installed in any other system, you can connect it to other system. Ultimately, this is a front-end tool for Oracle server is a back-end. Oracle SQL developer is a front-end tool. From this tool, you will be connecting to database, Oracle database, and you can see the data. From there, you can see the data here. Are you clear, please? Yes. Everybody? Guys, are you clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, so what I am saying again, again, why I am saying repeating again and again, because you should be, if you understand the basics perfectly, if you understand the ABCDs, then you can write the words. If you understand the words, then you can write the lines. If you understand the lines, then paragraphs, then stories. If you don't know what is ABCD, if I tell the paragraphs and stories, nothing will be written. So basics are very important. Whatever this one to eight sessions, these are I'm saying very important place. If you understand carefully, practice with perfection in one to eight, then next eight to 31, 32 sessions will be, you can play with them. You can play with them, I'm saying. Okay. So table, as I told you, data, data will be stored in the form of rows and columns. 
the rows and columns will be stored in the table. Okay, table is a collection of rows and columns. Table will be stored under database. Yes. Okay, database, there are different types of databases. Oracle database is one of the type. First, we will install Oracle database. Then to access that Oracle database, whatever that data you are entering, the cache you're entering, the transactional data that will store under table, table will be stored under database. To get the table, to see the table with your eyes, with your eyes, for that, we should use a SQL developer tool. Okay, a SQL developer we can use. Now, come into the database. We'll come to the database. Okay. So database, data, what is a database? Database is a collection of tables, correct? Yes or no? Yes. yes. Database is a collection of tables, but where the tables exist again, first database is a collection of schema. What is database? Collection of schema. What is a schema? Collection of database objects, okay? So if you see, these are all schema. The left side window, this is called navigator window. This is called workspace window. One more window will come that is called output window. This is called menu bar. This is called toolbar. These are the minimize, maximize, close buttons. Okay. So if you are seeing HR, info DOM, info repo, these are all called schema. Under this schema, you will be having, under this schema, you will be having database objects. What are we having, please? Under this, suppose if I see this schema, okay. If I see this schema, see, please, when you get a, see, normally, Everybody has got the service when you open Informatica. Suppose when you open Informatica, as per our as per my video, when you connect it to it, it will not connect. It will give an error. Yes or no? Correct? Yes or no, please? Yes. Yes. And also, Oracle, if I connect, it is not connecting. See? If I give, it is gone. So for that, what you need to do? You need to open services first. If Informatica is not working or Oracle not working, first what you need to do? Go to search for services, open. Open the services. First, check, first check Oracle services. Don't directly check Informatica services, please. First, check Oracle services. Click on this, press on O, or scroll down until you find Oracle. If you see Oracle, there are five services on there. Yes or no? MTR recovery service. There are six. Scheduler XE, Oracle MTR recovery service, services XE, CLR agent, listener. In this, First one, disable, leave it. First one, Oracle Schedule XE, no need to start. The other four should be in running state. This is running already? Yes. Yes. And Oracle XE is running? No. Right click no. on it, start. If Oracle is not running, Informatica also will not run. So, suppose if your Informatica is not working, come here, check these four are running or not first. If your Oracle is not running, then check these four are not running or not. If they are not running, first one, leave it, please. First one, no need to, first one, no need to open. That means run. The other four, the next four should be in running state. Sorry to disturb you. Yeah. Uh, this will not happen in our uh, organization, in your organization. No, no, no. no. Oh, in real time, we are using free versions. You are using free versions. That's why we need to use this. That's it. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Yes, please. In real time, it will be all up for you. Okay, you no need to do. But in your, in our case, we are only the organization. Okay, we need to help ourselves. Correct. Because we are practicing here ourselves. So, you start the Oracle service and wait for two minutes, please. Waiting is important. Wait for two minutes. Okay. So, once you wait for two minutes, refresh once again. It will be in running status. All should be in running status. Right click, refresh. Right click and refresh. Okay. Just give me one second. Let it refresh. Okay. Now scroll up to Informatica. In, in, in your system, Informatica, only one service will be there. Only one service. Right click on it, start. Right click on it, start. Once you start, it will start again, wait for two minutes. Just to two minutes, please wait. Okay. Then open Informatica, it will connect. Okay, do you understand, please? 
Yes. What 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 you need to do if you if you uh, if if Informatica or Oracle stopped working? We need to go to sir. Okay, Oracle Please services go. and Informatica services. Yes, sir. Okay. Now connect. It will connect. Is it connected? See. Yes. Is it connected? Now yes. a database is a collection of schema. What I told? A database is a collection yeah. of schema. Schema is a collection of Actually, object. Database. What are this? Schema Objects. is collection of objects. Objects. what are the database objects? Yeah. Tables, views, views, access, and access. Indexes. Procedures is all called database objects. So yeah. table is one of the database object. Table yeah. is a table is a one of the database object. So data again, again I am coming back. Data will store in the form of a rows and columns. Table, no, table is a collection of rows and columns. Table will store under database. Data. Database is a collection of schema. Schema is a collection of database objects. So table is a for table is one one object in that schema. Table is one object in that schema. Are you clear, please? Yeah. Everybody. Yes. 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 No? So yes. this is called, so how to store the data, how in real time they will store the data. So they will be storing in the form of tables and tables. They will be in the form of tables and tables will be under schema. So without a schema, you cannot create a table. Are you clear, please? Without yes. a schema, you cannot create a table. Okay. Now, okay. Before going to ETL, first learn. First learn, okay, few Oracle concepts, okay. So anyways, otherwise, okay, what we will do? We'll come to the first, we'll see the ETL and then we'll come to the database. We'll, we'll see what is ETL and we'll come to database, okay. As I told you now, in the, in, the, in the business intelligence, there are two types of tools. One is ETL tool, one is reporting tool, okay. What is ETL tool? ETL means extract the data. What is ETL means? Extract the data, transform the data, and and load the load. data and load the data. Load the data. Right? Transform and and load. What are the different types of ETL tools? Informatica, SAS, Sprinty, Abinitio, Data Integration, ODI, Oracle Data Integration, Pentaho, Data Stage, IBM, SAP, Bivo Objects. Okay, SQL Server, Tal, and these are all these are all what different types of ETL tools. Now we are learning here Informatica Power Center. Yes or no? Are we learning Informatica Power yes. Center? So yes. Informatica yes. is a is a data integration company. Informatica is a software company. Informatica also a product based software company. Informatica is product based software company which is located in US. Main head office is in US, but in India also there are many branches. In Bangalore there is an Informatica office in CV Ramanagar, Bangalore. Okay, so uh, behind is behind Domino's. Okay, there is a building that is Informatica building in CV Ramanagar. If you see, if you have seen, okay. So, Informatica is a data integration company. Informatica first Informatica they have implemented Informatica Power Center as a basics. Okay, as a basics. Okay, so open sources means Informatica is not an open source tool, but they have given a trial version to everybody. Okay, so without paying, you can install Informatica. But if you come to data stage, maybe there is no open source for database, data stage. Few are open sources, few are not open sources. You need to pay for them. But when you go to real time, there will be there will be the people the, we are we will be used licensed versions of Informatica. This is not a pirated version. Whatever we are using is not a pirated version. They have given a trial, not trial version also. Almost 70% of the features they have given. Informatica itself has given. So please download and you can practice. They have only given. It is not like a pirated version. You no need to worry. If you if you are using whatever the Informatica I am giving, okay, that you can use for your lifetime. You no need to worry that you no need to worry that that is a pirated version. Somebody can somebody can ask me why you are no need to worry about it. Okay. This whatever the software I am giving that is downloaded by Oracle.com website. Okay, so Informatica is given the software to Oracle. So they are put in the public. Okay, so we are not doing anything wrong here. You no need to worry. Okay, now Informatica is a company. First, they have implemented Informatica Power Center tool. As a basics, 
they have implemented when i was when i was a fresher in hcl technologies in 2011 okay i know the people who are working already from 10 years on informatica that means maybe informatica is implemented on 2011 10 years back means 2001 like 95 96 maybe it has implemented with a version 1 okay informatica i can say informatica is a mother of all etl tools it's a 2025 ev year old tool still there is no demand that means the, there is still is having huge demand a tool which is having 2025 years old is having huge demand means not a small thing okay because nowadays a tool will come four five years it will be there in the industry the another tool will come on top of that that will never use correct will you agree that yes or no yes please Yes. yes. So they told that yes, between data shares come. When I was having four years experience, they told that data shares come. Informatica will go back. Never. Data shares only went back. Informatica has has its own importance is having. So you no need to worry. So Informatica is basics for all other Informatica tools. So they have implemented Informatica Power Center called ETL tool, and now they have many tools in Informatica itself. There is a Informatica cloud called ACS. Informatica ILM called Information Lifecycle Management, Informatica BDM Big Data Management, MDM Master Data Management, TDM Test Data Management, IDQ Informatica Data Quality, PIM okay uh, nowadays PIM has come, Informatica E uh, ED something is there okay so and PIM has come, Informatica 360 has come, there are many things has come nowadays but if you want to learn Informatica Cloud. if you don't know power center it's very difficult to learn but if you know informatica power center it is easy to learn informatica cloud it's easy to work on informatica cloud so this informatica power center is basics for all other informatica tools are you clear yes yes please so yes. if you know power center yes, you can work on any other etl tool because that much importance or that much features okay nowadays people are thinking if anybody knows informatica he can work on any other etl tool like talent or iacs whatever it is okay so because the informatica is there from past 25 years okay it is not a small whole that's not a small thing a, a company a tool existing from 25 years is not a small thing first of all okay so you no need to worry now has i told you has i told you so etl coming to the etl informatica power center is a etl tool what you will do in the etl tool suppose c plus as i told you this is a table as i told you this is a table okay this is table this is a table right so where where is the table at sheet 1 sheet 1 yeah this is a table this is a customer data okay this is a customer data this is what we will call it as which type of process it is called as online transaction o process oltp TP. correct TP. what is oltp Whatever the transaction is stored in a table that is called online transaction process. Now in ETL, what we will do is we will take the OLTP table. We will take what is ETL is extract. E means extract. T means transform. Transform. L means L means load. L means load. So where we will where we will extract from the from the oltp, OLTP table. table from the oltp table extract from oltp table or source table this oltp table also called a source table or a source file okay you can extract the data from a oltp table oltp table also mm -hmm. called as a source table oltp table also called as a source table Hosting. or you can extract the data what you will extract the data extract the data from extract the data from source table and transform it and transform means what modify the data modify this data which you are extract means what extract means get the data read the data read the data okay extract means get the data or read the data from the extract the data from the source table and modify this data and load to Go to OLAP. Are a file, a table, are a file. Okay, what will load again the data? Whatever the modified data, okay. What whatever the modified data, you will 
whatever the modified data he will put it where in the OLAP target table this target table is called OLAP table what is this OLAP okay OLAP means online online analytical 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 processing analytical processing so we will extract transform load means what load means write the data or process the data or put the data yes or no okay read the data from extract the data from a data from the data from a table or a file the table is called oltp table transform the data and load the data to target table or a target file or a oltp table now oltp means what online online analytical processing online analytical processing what is oltp online analytical processing who will use this what is the use of this what is the use of oltp report what is the use of oltp to store the data to store the data yes or no yes to store the data and we will get the data from oltp what is oltp means to make the business decisions based on the data which has come to oltp we will make the business decisions will make the business decisions that means based on this data based on this target table reporting people will generate the reports who will use this data Report. who will use this data reporting reporting, reporting. higher level reporting people, people. higher <laughs> level <laughs> people like presidents vice presidents anyways reporting people will use it to generate the reports but actually who wanted this data higher level people like president ceo yes or no Yes. They yes. want to. They want to make the business decision. Right. Okay. Or this one, this person want to make the business decision. Will no. this person make the business decision? No. 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 Higher no. level people. So this is also called source. <laughs> so this is also called target. This is also called target. target. Did you understand now? What yeah. is OLTP? What is OLAP? Yes. yes so yes, whatever the transactions are getting into the table, okay, we will extract the data by using. informatica etl tool by using informatica etl tool and will what we will do we will extract the data transform the data and load the data to target table or oltp table from this table reporting people will generate the reports that reports will be seeing by by the higher higher level people and they will take the business decision are you clear please yes what is etl are you clear Yes. 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 Guys, non IT people, are you able to understand my lecture? Yes. Sir. Guys, I yes, want sir. to hear from non IT. Yes, sir. 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 Uh, they will anyway uh, question me okay or does the doubts but the main concern is the nonity people who don't know anything i wanted to i wanted to make them to the speed till how the software people are working now okay that is my goal okay so please understand carefully i am saying again i will do the hard work more than you people okay so i will do the hard work more than my more than you people so don't waste my hard work how you don't want to waste my hard work means you have to practice you have to do the practice you have to do you have to practice well then for my training there should be a meaning okay simply i am saying you are listening you are going means there is no meaning for my my training when the meaning has come is when you show me the offer letter this much two offers i got three i got 100% i got 200% i got then i am happy that's it i will not ask you because you got 100% i send me 50% never my yeah. training fee is 15000 i don't want single rupee also after that that's it okay you got 10 offer letters or you got 500% i that is it's your own hard earning money please and you should not give it to anybody okay so okay, please understand listen carefully understand and and get the job as soon as possible now ask me the doubts please sir yeah this engine process is continuously done sir yeah daily basis yes okay. daily transactions will come see But that's all right you want okay. to get see simple you want to get the daily daily i want daily report means what you need to do it should run daily yes yes, yes. daily transactions will come big bazaar will not close so icic bank will take it icic bank will close any day 
If it no. closes also online transactions will happen. Yes or no? Yes, sir. So transactions will be happening. Transactions will be coming into the database. Daily ETL job will run. Our ETL process will run. Daily, daily report will run. Based on the daily reports, weekly reports will run. Based on the weekly reports after four weeks, monthly reports. Based on the four months, yes. three months, quarterly reports. Based on the uh, based on the six months, half yearly report. report. Based on the yearly, four months, half yearly report. Yes, please. Is there an automation to extract the data daily or we need to work on? That's what we are doing in Informatica, no? We'll do automation only. Okay. In Informatica, we'll create a job. We'll create an Informatica job. Okay. We will not just will create and leave. That's it. It will take daily. You no need to touch daily that one. That is called yes. Informatica development, right? What you are doing now? We are working on Informatica development, right? As Informatica yes. developer, what you will do? Based on the based on the requirement they given, okay, you will develop it and you will leave it. You will automate and leave it, so that daily automatically it will extract the data, it will transform the data, and it will process the data. Yes, please. Yes. Understood. Yes. Any doubt, please? Uh, that a small doubt. Uh, the data in the OLTP is normalized or denormalized? It's de it's it's normalized. Oh no, denormalized. I guess. It's denormalized. Okay. okay. It's denormalized okay. or normalized. I, I, I'm not sure, but normalizer, I don't want to tell that basics. Maybe I'll check and I'll tell you. Okay. Normalized database. Maybe normalized. Okay. So I don't want to give a wrong answer here. Okay. I will tell you maybe next session. But normalization, no need to learn. Okay. So I'll tell you in the next session. Fine. Yeah. Next, please. Excuse yeah. me, sir. Please. Excuse me. Uh, we are confident in the database, right? We are? I mean, currently we are using the Oracle database, right? Like, why only the Oracle, why not uh, SQL Server, this kind of things? Any data database, you can use it. Okay, I mean, in this course, can we see how to configure the SQL Server with the Informatica? If I, if I, if you know, if you, if anybody having SQL Server database access or software or Teradata access or database access, okay? So let me know. I will install my system and I'll show you and I'll give the things to everyone. Uh, if anybody okay. have it. Yeah, I have okay. that software. Actually, I was you have the software? Yeah, I have a software SQL Server. You know how to install? Yeah. I mean, actually, I was working on SQL Server only. Okay, send me in the Google Drive the software, okay? Sure. Will you send me? Uh yeah, I will upload that in my drive and I will ping you in WhatsApp. Yeah, yes. So I will try to install it. Okay, send the installation steps also. I'll install it and I'll show it to everyone. Okay. Sure. Uh, can you say the difference between what is MDM, IDQ, and what is the not required? Server? No, that is different tool, not required. Not, not required. required. But no, the, not. Well, this, the process we do is the same in MDM and IDQ. No, so. no, no. no. MDM no. is different, IDQ is different, power center is different. No, no. Okay. So, purpose is it, these are not ETL tools. Okay. Not ETL tools. We are doing ETL. In power center or IACS. These both are same almost. Then IACS what is this also. MDM and IDQ? What tools there? Is, right? Like software? So. MDM, Informatica MDM so software is there. Okay, it is a software. Informatica MDM tool is there. And Informatica okay. developer tool is there. It is power center tool, right? Like that? Yeah. Informatica developer tool for IDQ. Okay. 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 Yeah. Okay. Yes, please. And BDM also. BDM also will be used in the developer tool, IDQ tool. Okay. Hmm. What is so the yeah. what is the difference in development in power center and the, what is the difference in IDQ can? That's what I'm saying. So that is hmm. a, after loading into after loading the data to the target, you should do the data checks, quality checks. Okay. okay. So that hmm. is called data data quality. So how the data is coming? Is the data is coming in the correct format or not? Or maybe I don't know or because I don't know IDQ. I did not work on IDQ. Okay. okay. So basically. What they will do, either from the source system or target system, they will check the quality of the data. Okay. okay. Many yeah. checks will be there. In the there are data masking is there. There are data uh, security is there. There are many things in there in, in IDQ. So then what about know. this MDM? MDM. That's what I'm saying, right? There are different different things will be there. You no okay. need to bother about that. That's okay. what I'm, my my concern is. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. In, in... Yeah, source data in real time where we are checking in ETL too. I'll tell you, please wait. Yeah, yeah. Database, source database. In Oracle SQL developer here. Source yeah, data will check here. 
Yeah, target to we are checking in informatics. Target also a database maybe. Target also a database. Yeah. Data. Data means see table target source is a table target also table so target will be also a database target also in the database maybe i will tell you please wait yeah okay. yeah yes, Sir, please yeah. this is completely informatica power center developer right yes yes we are you are going as a informatica power center developer idq is different the idq is idq developer mdm is mdm developer okay those are different okay. tools at all, at all. You cannot work simply without my. If I know right. Informatica Power Center, I can learn easily. I can work on MDM. Don't think like that. You have to learn MDM also. Then only you can work. Maybe it's easy for you to learn. But you have to learn and you have to work. Okay, anyways, I'll tell you all those things. So, when you go to real time, when you go to real time, who and all will be there, suppose. You may be having doubt in software. When, you go, when I go to software industry, okay, when I go to a project, because I am, I am new to software industry, who and all will be there in the software, in the project. A project manager will be there. A team lead will be there. ETL developers will be there. ETL testing people will be there. Reporting people will be there. A database administrator or a data architect will be there. Suppose my team is 10 members team. My my team is, so I say, say I, my client is ICA7. My project name is ICA Data Warehouse. In that, I have 10 members. Who are they? Project manager one, team lead one people, ETL developers five people, ETL testing two people, reporting people one people, data architect one. Okay, how many over? One one more extra. So four ETL developers like this. In this, who are more people? Developer. 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 Right. Developers will be having more growth, more packages, more openings. Will you agree? Yes. 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 yes, because yes, in a project, most of the people working are the developers. Testing, yes. Testing like less growth, less package, less openings. Same reporting also, same DVRD also. Always developers are better. Okay, better than all these people. Sir, yes, ETL please. developer, all are uh, Informatica power yes. center developers. Yes. ETL Informatica developers, yes. One so that... project. In a project, only one ETL tool will be used. In this project, we are using ET, we are using uh, Informatica and Talent. There is waste. Both are uh, same. Okay. Right. Hmm. Uh, if I, if uh, suppose if I am a uh, software sorry Informatica developer, uh, oh. after some time, hmm. can I do job at uh, ETL testing or reporting or uh, as a? No, no. You how can you do? Maybe you are having some idea, but you should learn about that also, right? Okay. Sir, hello, sir. Mm. Sir, after we learning Informatica Power Center, uh, mm. we can learn Informatica Cloud also, sir. Yeah, easy, very easy. If you know Informatica Power Center, IICS is very easy for you. I'm saying okay. because the same concept you use it, same transformations you use it. Okay. Okay, sir. And okay, you can sir. easily work also. You can easily learn also. Okay, sir. Power Center is basics for everything, guys. Okay. 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 Mainly for IACS. Without Power Center, you cannot learn. You can learn. I am saying you cannot learn. But you will not understand. Okay. Yes, yes. So, see, ETL Informatica is a very easy tool. And it's a graphical user interface. Both are graphical user interface only. But there, little, little difference will be there. And it is not so easy than uh, Informatica. ISS is little difficult. Difficult means the, the, the user interface is difficult. That's it. Okay. Once you get adjusted, that is also easy. Okay, sir. Yes, please. Hi Raj, Hi, Raj. this is Ramesh here. Mm -hmm. uh, so, will you give any, you know, at least one section for? I will tell you one session. Yes, yeah. one session about ASCS. How to install ASCS? How to yeah. work on ASCS? How the look and feel in ASCS? Yeah, thanks, thanks. Huh? Next. Sir, but hello. Hello, Raj. Hmm. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, I just installed uh, by following your uh, installation tutorial and uh, got an error. See, whatever the installation errors, uh, fail to load please something. Ping me, please ping me separately. Installation uh, errors, please okay, ping me okay, separately. Okay, please, and uh, can you please give a short summary? We just blindly followed uh, that what we had uh, installed. So can you give us a short summary of what we are doing so that we'll be, we'll be good for You will not understand if I give it also. It's a waste of time now. Once okay. you learn about Informatica now, that time you will understand. Okay. Right. So not okay. required. Just to blow. See, in real time, you will never install Informatica. Okay. When you go to real time, 
informatica administrator will be there he will be already installed you don't need to bother but why i am asking you to install is if you go to amir pet okay they will take 2 3000 to install yes or no yes yes and if your system formatted will they install again no again they'll charge again. another more 2000 why you want again. to charge yes. why you want to pay him pay 2000 to them okay. why can't you install yourself it's very easy okay. that's why okay. i made the video okay so and also if you install informatica then in future if it is uninstalled then you can easily install yes or no by seeing that like that and also and also so what in few administrator concepts also will learn there that's why i am asking you to install first yourself if you have any doubts i will help you. okay yes, please on the informatica what is the document uh, developer or support role i'll tell you support role developer role enhancement roles i'll tell you later okay okay hello hi raj hello. hi sir ah hmm. uh, only like uh, building the warehouse uh, projects is there like how uh, what are all the different types of projects which we yeah, can different type of projects i will tell later okay i will tell anyways there will be okay. one complete session like what are the projects available in informatica what kind of projects development project means what on the can you work in data center at Yeah, hi Raj. Yeah, in ETL testing, which tool uh, tools we are using? They will be using some other tools, okay. So that means automation tools may be using or manual testing they will use. Okay, they will not use Informatica at all. In ETL testing, they will not use Informatica at all. Okay. You no need to bother about it. You will not yeah. test it. Don't worry. Okay. Sir, hello. Hmm. Hello. Go ahead, please. Go ahead. Ah, uh, sir. Uh, on the basis of Informatica, can we work in? Uh, data science and artificial intelligence no 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 both are different that is different you need to learn again yes. you need to learn again different different see nowadays many things has come okay you should not think that i know this i can easily work you should not commit anyways that i will tell everything later how to handle the project when you go to the real time suppose you were, you go for informatica power center they given iacs project what you need to do how to handle everything guys okay you will not expect this one i will tell you will be normally what you do normally you will be having a question in your mind i want to ask this question before you asking the question i will tell about it because i know what is the question i know what is your question okay i will explain everything the my what what i want is you want to work individually without paying the job support because how many days job support will be there until office opening this year or next year for sure office will open You have to admit it. Yes or no, please. Correct. Yes, sir. Yes, for a day. There, a, there is a day like two years back, like 2019. The day will come for sure. Maybe not this year. Maybe from January onwards. For that time, you should go to offices for sure. Then you have to work individually. So practice that from now. Okay. Yes, please. I don't depend on any sir. others, please. You should not depend on any others. Yes, yes, sir. sir. Hmm. like uh, as you mentioned uh, if you want to uh, practice like uh, two hours practice on informatica and two hours practice on sql hmm. so hmm. do you require uh, have the full knowledge about the sql totally i will like, tell you what is the knowledge you required i will tell you no okay i will tell you what and all you need to learn first what and all informatica is using wherever informatica or oracle concepts also will come informatica will work on oracle only oracle means database only so data so some of the portion we have to uh, cover that's it right? not fully oh, not completely yes but most of the things i will cover important important things i will cover for sure okay it's not basically like a... telling ddl and leave it no not like that i will tell about ddl dml tcl i will tell about where conditions i will tell you like uh, between uh, exist not exist i will tell about order by i will tell about group by i will tell about indexes i will tell about views i will tell about union minus intersect i will tell about union all okay i will tell about inline views i'll tell about uh, what what else is how okay yes, sir the main sir. things in oracle sr no sorry these are the main things which you are told in oracle sql i, I didn't know oh, yes. it was the sql yes. that's what yeah. yes, yes, that is if you know these things you can understand any other things Hi. these are the main concepts we have okay you and one more you know pls sql is not required pls sql is not required if you know well and good if you don't know leave it 
and one more thing raj uh, for, from the uh, beginning like uh, if i started working practicing today so i'll get the uh, informatica questions from today only like uh, two questions three concepts if i start from the it today it is available in website topic wise questions okay okay yeah. and also i will give i will ask in the questions in the class also okay yeah you know it already guys you have to cover hmm is all the data warehouses concepts are covered yes. right like the yes. snowflake task queue yes 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 uh, without knowing that how can you implement it? okay no uh, what yes, is dimension yes. what is fact what is task schema what is snowflake yeah. schema what is bottom up approach what is top down approach what okay. what are the types of dimensions what are the types of facts everything will be covered okay hey, raj friends between normalization and denormalization not required that you need to read not required uh, maybe we may uh, experience the interview questions like uh, different yeah, between you think see and... you think everything you should not expect me. if i want to tell everything it will take 3 months okay so what are the main main things just like ask? over you like uh, uh, where the normalization and denormalization you can easily learn from google okay whatever mm -hmm. it is important i will tell you for sure whatever it is they will ask in the interview whatever you are working on real time i will tell you. next please hi raj yeah Uh, Raj, you are given uh, are given an example of project consisting of four Informatica developers, mm -hmm. out of which four are working on Informatica Power Center or else. All Informatica Power Center only. That's what I'm saying. Okay, okay. ETL means only one tool they will use. That's it. Not two three tools. Why they want to use two three tools for the same thing? They want to purchase two three tools. Why waste of money, right? Okay, okay. All ETL think... developers means either all Informatica developers or all talent developers or all IC IC developers like that. Are they out of out of Informatica developers? Mm -hmm. I think Informatica Power Center and Informatica Data Quality. Such Maybe a... that is depend on the project requirement. I don't know. Maybe okay. 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 But okay. ETL means Power Center only, not IDQ. Okay. okay. Hmm. Next, please. Raj, with respect Hello. to uh, SQL, hmm. uh, will the stored processor will be covered? Because I that think... is PL SQL. That's PL SQL, not required. I think yeah, basically uh, I checked once that uh, stored processor transformation is there in this. Uh, information. Yes, it is there, but you can skip that. If if you entertain about uh, suppose if they ask you what is procedure, what is oh. uh, what is that uh, stored processor transformation, then you can tell that I did not get a chance to work on stored processor transformation. Finish. That's it. If you tell yes, then they will ask what is stored processor, what is the difference between procedure and function, what is that, what are the types of procedures. What are the types of functions? Not required. In my eleven years of in my eleven years of experience, I worked one or two procedures. That's it. Okay. Then about then what about XML transformation? Not and... required. You will see if I can cover, but not required. I did not cover till now. Not required. XML okay. transformation so one one or two times I use. Everywhere we will not use. Okay. But we'll see in this batch we'll we'll cover XML or we'll send a video. We'll see. At last. Then what about that small project means what you'll cover in that project? Yeah, end to end. Okay, how to extract the data from source? How to transform? Okay. How to load? What is dimension load? What is fact load? How to implement incremental load? How to mm -hmm. parameterize? How to parameterize that? Okay, everything will be covered in the end to end mini project which I have done. I will ask you to implement. Which I have okay. done in Capgemini, I will ask you to implement. Okay. Hello. Yeah. um for the interview purpose what kind of project you are going to tell i will be any project you can you will be able to explain i will tell a, i will give the resume the projects you can tell i will tell in the generic manner in the session you can tell the same thing in the same thing in the interview like maybe insurance project maybe a banking project maybe a retail project domain is not a problem at all any domain you can learn domain nobody will expect you till 5 years nobody will expect you the domain knowledge next sir hmm sir in a power bi tool hmm there is a option called power query hmm. which will do the etl work hmm so again why we need to go for informatica there are more features on the power power query power query is just one thing in informatica there are they will do many things we will we will get to know why okay okay next hi raj hmm. do we have any monitoring tool in informatica like control m how they are using in data yeah, stage scheduler we have informatica scheduler okay 
Hello, sir. Hmm. So on my laptop, sir, uh, MySQL is installed, uh, and uh, so can I use both of uh, MySQL and Oracle on the same you laptop? Can use. You can use. You can use. Okay, thank you. Next. Hi, Next, please. Hmm. This is Hari. Uh, for cloud, for cloud computing, uh, computing also we need to learn informatics uh, like basics. Not no cloud computing is different. Now we are dealing with ETL. ETL tools are very famous, very hot cakes in industry now. Why? Because why? Because I told you why. Because we need to deal with the data. Everything is a business nowadays. Okay, that's why in ETL tools there are there are many tools. One is Informatica Power Center. The extension of Informatica Power Center is IAC as it is Informatica Cloud. Okay. So if you know, now you are learning Informatica Power Center. If you learn Informatica Cloud after this, that will be well and good for you. That's it. Thank you. No need to learn anything. No need to learn anything apart from that. For this, we need to learn Oracle SQL. If possible, learn PLSQL. If possible, if you are interested, then Unix commands. This is more than enough. That's it. You don't need to learn anything. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Next, please. Yeah, uh, we, we were cover uh, Oracle SQL functions, triggers, subquery. What is PLSQL? Oracle is having two types of languages, SQL, PLSQL. To get okay. a job in Informatica, SQL is, SQL is enough. PLSQL oh. is not. Okay. If I want to tell PLSQL, it will take one more month. It's not so easy to understand PLSQL. It's yeah. not so easy to explain PLSQL also. Yeah, yeah, that's it same. More time. It takes more time for sure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, not required. See, get the job easily, okay? okay? See, everybody will get the job, okay? By struggling wow. years, months. Yeah. But you should struggle only this. Do as I follow you, do it. You will get it for sure. Just okay. follow me. Okay. okay. Whatever I say, you do it. That's it. Okay. Okay. Then for sure, you can see my screenshots, right? Are you seeing my statuses? Yes, yeah. sir. Every day, two get two people get 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 the job. Every day, two three people. Yeah, for yeah. sure. You know it, or you will you will also get it. I will put your your name name. I will blur because that's the security purpose. Okay. But people okay. are saying that in Facebook you are fake. Let them let them bark. Okay. Whether I'm fake or not, you know. I know. My yeah. students. Know. Okay. Because those are fake screenshots which are which are created by myself. Why should I create myself? Can I create seven hundred screenshots? I can create one or two. Correct. Yeah. Can I create seven hundred screenshots? Can no, I give sir. myself seven hundred reviews? Nobody can no. give it. So if they, see, simple guys. Now in that in this batch, we have almost two twenty people joined already. Two fifteen people. Okay, three hundred will cross this trainer. But no other trainer is having this much people. What they want to do? They want to tell us mine is a fake because they wanted the candidates. If they want the candidates, give a training better than me. Simple, right? Instead of Instead of telling I am fake, try to give more concepts than me. Try to be explain better than me. Then people will come automatically to you. Yes or no? Correct. Yes, sir. Why? Why you are coming to me? Because I am better than many many trainers. I can success, probably say success yes. is also very good, sir. In your training. Yeah. Whatever. See everything you will see. Right. You will not yes, simply pay fifteen thousand. Right. Fifteen thousand yes, is not a small thing for you. Yes. Because you will see everything. You will. You, you might have think hundred times before joining. Right. What they will do ultimately, what they wanted, because he is getting more people. We wanted to tell something, honey. Let them tell, okay? Let them tell. Yes, let it recording. What is there? Okay, I don't, I don't fear about it. I can proudly say that I am better than many trainers. Okay. Now nowadays training is became like a business. How business is? They want to tell something. That's it. Whether the candidates are getting the jobs, whether the candidates are getting knowledge or not, nobody are bothering about. See, Snowflake has come. Today, Snowflake has released. Tomorrow, they will start the training. How? They will join other training, and they will learn the learn about the concepts, and they will start the training. There is no use with use of that, right? Okay. There is no use of that. So, if you, why I am not starting IACS, you know, because I am having less experience in IACS. I am having experience until and unless I get good experience on IACS, I will not start IACS. My problem is. If I start something, means I should give hundred percent. I cannot give simply. This is what this is what you do it. You do it now. I will tell, understand, then do it means you will do. It. Okay. 
if i simply ask do it do it means nobody will do nobody can do it that's why i am not starting iss okay, i will start for sure i'll start once i get grip on that once i get good experience on that if 100 people ask me the question i can able to answer it then i will start iss yes guys raj uh, yeah. that store procedure and triggers doesn't require in oracle sql no oracle is having two parts sql pl sql okay pl sql will be having these many concepts what are those cursors okay. procedures functions triggers packages all those things will come under pl sql so no need to learn pl sql get a job easily than struggling i'm saying you have to struggle but try to try to struggle on sql put it more effort into sql than pl sql and get the job easily Okay. Sure. Hello, sir. Uh, Raj. Mm. Mm. Here, mm. As we are working, as we will be working on database, right? Whether mm. it is a real-time database or no, not real-time database. It's a sample database. Okay. Sample. You know, in 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 companies, right? They will mm. take a backup and they will be working on data. Correct. Or... Correct. Okay. There will be two, three types: development, testing, production. Okay. Okay. For that development, you you have to do the development first. For the development, the data will be sample data. They will give you. Okay. Okay. So based on the sample data, you should you should first implement it. Then they will give some real time data, which is not real actually. That is that testers will test. After that, whatever the code we have implemented, whatever you have mappings implemented, then it will run on real time data. That's how it will be. Okay. 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 Thank that you. I will tell you. Anyways, what is development? What is testing? What is production? I will tell. You. Raj, uh, where the Unix comes in the picture? Uh, Unix, because we have command task, we have, and in real time, few few projects are using Unix. Informatica server will be installed under Unix. That's why the file systems, the files will be in the, in the Unix system. That's why we need to learn Unix also. And shell scripting, what about shell scripting? Not required. Not required. as of now, till five years, shell scripting is not required. To slowly learn the shell scripts. when you go to real time. When you go to real time. Slowly start learning shell scripting and then go it. No problem. Shell scripting is not so easy to learn. Yes. Next. Yeah. Hi, Raj. Hmm. Uh, Raj, we are uh, going to store the data uh, hmm. in the uh, target database. Yeah. I mean, correct. we are only uh, going to store the data into target. Database. Yes. Yes. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Raj, Next. even uh, real scenarios uh, in the company. So we we get a chance to work on test environment uh, initially. Maybe few projects, few projects you may get chance. I don't know, but nine, but seventy percent they will not ask you to testing test. You have to do unit testing. That's it. As a developer, you have to do unit testing, not real testing. Okay. A tester will be there. A testing resource will be there. Next, sir, in data engineering, sir, uh, informatics skill is also for not. Maybe or may not be. I cannot guarantee you. Okay. So maybe mm -hmm. in Informatica we can use Azure or or AWS or GCP as a cloud database. We can or we may not. You no need to. Everything you will learn. Don't worry. First you learn whatever I say perfectly. Then it is easy to learn other things. Okay. So as I told you, I just as I told you ETL. If you see this this one, ETL. So ETL is extract, transform, and load. Right. So if you see, if you see this picture, extract the data from source system, transform and load it to data warehouse. So in this OLTP, OLTP, this OLTP is called a database. This OLTP is called a data warehouse. Data warehouse. Okay. OLTP is called data warehouse. Okay. Is a difference here. Data warehouse is different. Big data is different. That is different things. Those are, those are not not related to each other at all. First of all. Okay. So same way you see. You can extract from various databases. You can extract from Oracle. You can extract from SQL Server. You can extract from DB2. You can extract from other database, or you can extract from document, or Excel file, or a CSV file, or a PDF file. And you can transform this. You can clean the data. You can remove the duplicates. You can summarize the data. You can aggregate the data. What are all these things? I'll explain later. Okay. And we load to we load to OLTP. That is target. Target is a data warehouse. This is called ETL. Extract. Transform and there. So from Oracle you, in the ETL, this is E T L. By using Informatica, by using Informatica, 
a oracle database is their source oracle table is there you can transform it and load it to sql server table a table in sql server you can load it to a table in sql server okay suppose a file is there a source file is there you can extract the data from source file transform it and you can load a table in oracle you can load to table in oracle this data from file you can transform it and you can load to a table in the oracle suppose there are there is a oracle table there is one source file there is one sql server table there is one teradata table okay we can bring all these different databases different database sources into informatica and we load it to single oracle table we can join them we can join a table different types of database database tables and also files and we can load into one single oracle table so anything to anything any database to any database you can extract and load any file to any file table to file file to table anything you can do in in etl so i will tell you in the next session more about how what is informatica what exactly informatica is having what is oracle what is sql what is plsql in sql what are the commands everything i will explain in the next session so did you feel today session is interesting yes sir sir is there any assignment today sir yes sir we almost finished one one hour 50 minutes i started at 11:40 maybe 9:40 you don't know how the 140 minutes how we 150 minutes went yeah that to a theory no. session that to a theory session but when you come into practical it will be listening right a movie finished in two hours very very soon when when it was interesting right oh, yes. so every day is like a movie for you don't worry okay. so do we have any assignment today not even next day just slowly will go wait wait let's let's first people in i'll i'll give okay. the assignments as much as possible you will not get the time to work on assignments so <laughs> okay wait wait till then okay will not we should not go fast yes definitely going fast yes. and falling down is not a small thing we should climb slowly once you go middle you go up very fast that's how we, we should go okay so yes. please who ever installed informatica already help others post the screenshot your error screenshot in the group okay help each other today i am going to create the whatsapp groups okay five whatsapp groups i will create based on the free time you can join there and you can create a zoom meetings and you can again i am saying practicing in the group will help you more and more who ever practicing the group they will get the job first who ever practice individually they will get job last so i sent you a form also you send you fill the form again that means who ever not filled and suppose if two people are staying in the same area meet each other and practice well and get the jobs as soon as possible okay, okay. yes please class for every session you can do the interview questions yes yes i'll give yeah okay thank you yeah hi raj uh, is this a data warehouse and uh, database both are same or not da database that's what i'll tell you da the later later sessions data okay. uh, base and data warehouse yeah database is oltp data warehouse is oltp okay the collection of databases will come into that's what we will get the data from different different databases and we load into single database that is called data warehouse that's it okay here also a database data yeah. is also interlinked database but we will call yeah, that as a database yeah. that's it yeah i think sql server is part of a data warehouse i think maybe because of the by seeing the data we, can, we should know not by seeing the database we should not tell that it is a data warehouse by seeing the data that data is a anal analytical data then that is called a data warehouse so raj is it seems uh, stage to target i'll tell you yeah I mean from between source to target a stage will come that i will tell later what is the stage Sure. Okay. Tomorrow is session or not, sir? Wednesday is. No, first two weeks are three sessions. Okay, then. First two weeks because we need to go slow and we should practice. We should install. There is so much of efforts required at start. Yeah. Once you learn, yeah. once you are familiar with Informatica, yeah. we'll go fast. Okay. okay. So Thanks. until then, please wait with patience. Okay. Yes, please. Yeah, Raj. Uh, as I said, they are going to. Tomorrow we uh, have also session, na? Right? Yeah. this week and next week alternative session submits monday wednesday friday monday wednesday friday till 25th alternative sessions from 25th onwards daily only sunday holiday if you ask me to give a holiday also i'll not give don't worry okay
till the here eight sessions will over eight to nine sessions will over so that you will be very good very familiar with that means you will be getting chance to practice once you practice the eight sessions the next sessions will be easy so first two weeks please wait with patience then you will you will go fast if you don't want us to go fast don't worry okay yes please yeah raj i just said uh, you will be going to uh, create whatsapp group for that you you know uh, shared some excel group so where links. did you share that i'll i'll send the group links in the main group okay in our whatsapp group main group i'll send mm -hmm. the group links five group links you can click on that and you can join that's it yeah okay maybe see maybe i can shift to whatsapp to telegram because if i have the more people 255 people than more we will shift to telegram because whatsapp will whatsapp group will allow only 255 that's it okay so if we have more then we'll shift to if once the people are joined more i'll tell you i'll inform you we'll create telegram group okay both okay. are same no much difference telegram is better than whatsapp actually okay so raj uh, as you said in last session that uh, you will create the groups on the basis of the area uh, today will create on the cities so today. are you going okay. today by today end of the day i'll get it so before that whoever not get the enrollment id is get the enrollment id is from me ping me separately then whoever already got the enrollment id is get the registration process as soon as possible for sure wednesday you will not be having a separate zoom link whoever access whoever having paid only those people will be having access that's it no zoom link will be provided first two days i am okay okay so from next day i'm not for sure no separate zoom link is created okay whoever i give the access only they can join that's it for others no access clear please hi raj is ramesh here uh so we can see you know uh, last session and this session also you know got delay somehow we thought that what is that i am unable to understand can you tell me again please can you tell me again please can you ask me again is asking for the extra side like uh, some um, because of the, because of the delay from for uh, yesterday and today is requesting mm. to add on some time like a football or 1250 might be his question not required see i will go slow only first to two weeks if you tell whatever you think this is a process because everybody should understand not only one person it is not for one person it is a person for it is a it is a things for group we will go slow okay we will help them okay No, 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 actually, no. I'm not asking that. I'm asking about you know the uh, timings. You know, if you said uh, uh, the session start with nine uh, thirty, so if mm. you start with nine thirty, that will be helpful for us also. Like you know, some of you know, few of them are you know working as well. Yes, from next from them. next session onwards, please join by nine fifteen. Okay. Yeah. From next session onwards, please join by nine fifteen. I will exactly. I will also join by nine fifteen. If I don't join, please wait. Nine thirty for sure. I will start the session. If yeah. uh, whoever joins, not joins, nine thirty for sure. I will start the session. Please, yeah, thanks. Thanks, please yes. join by nine fifteen only. Yes, I wanted to tell this. Thanks for reminding. Yes, this is very important because ten minutes also very important. Okay. Correct. So we are also now on the side by side. We are yes. working as well. So correct. You do it, I understand. Bad as well. So yes, I understand. Whatever yes. you are saying is a absolute valid point. Yes, because the one or two persons others should not suffer. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. So. Please join by nine fifteen only. Okay. So uh, Wednesday session join by nine only because we'll be joined by our process. No, it may take time. Okay. Mm -hmm. Join by nine a.m. only. Whatever the whatever you are feeling the difficulties, that half an hour we'll finish it. Nine thirty for sure session will start. So please keep in mind that if I join by nine forty, I will repeat again. No repetitions, nothing. Please. Please Raj. join by nine thirty a.m. Exact. That means yeah, if it is prior, it's not a problem. Then, but uh, I know if it is before, it's not a problem. So yeah, join by nine twenty yeah. so that nine thirty will sure start the session. Yes. Thanks, Raj. Thank you so much. Next. Next, please quickly. Sometime I am not join able to join. Uh, Ping me separately, please. Ping me separately. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Next, please. What is data integration, sir? I'll tell you. Next, next, next is full about the technical terms. 
Wait for the next question. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, guys. Sir, I have sir. I have sent that to fill that registration form, sir, with the uh, ID. Ah. Uh. Uh, after clicking that, it is acting. Uh, it is showing that uh, active uh, pending. Uh, so how to uh. check that it is activated or not? You will get. You will get an email. Your enrollment ID got approved. You will get an email. I'll okay. tell the steps. I'll tell the steps. Okay, in the group. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay. Sir. Okay, guys. See you on Wednesday then. Bye, bye. Guys, Thank see you on Wednesday. Okay, sir. Okay. Bye, bye. Thank you, sir. Bye, Raj. Bye, Raj. Thank you. Okay, bye, bye, bye. Bye, guys. Bye, bye. Thank you, sir.